When we create a front-end application, we often need to catch the parameters or the queries inside the URL of the application. In this video, I'm going to show you how to catch the params inside Next.js 13 and how to catch also the queries. There is two cases different that we are going to explain. The first case is going to be the static and then the dynamic. So right now I'm on Next.js, okay? And I got my application running with a slash post slash one. And up there, we would like to catch the number here of the post or the ID of the post. If I look at my root right now, I got here uh, between brackets ID that I would like to catch. All right, so the first thing that I would like to do is just to uh, determine if I am on the client side or if I am on the server side. Here right now, I'm going just to put a, a use client up there. And when you're gonna use the client to catch your params, what you're gonna use is use params from next navigation. So what you're gonna do is that you are going to import from next navigation here, navigation, there we go. You are going to use use params okay use params it's a function so what i'm going to do i'm going to type params here use params and i'm just going to console log the params that i got down there and when i go to my console we can see that i got my params down there id so i'm going to get back and what i can do here is to put params.id inside my template and if I come back I got the number one if I put 12 I'm going to have the number 12 or if I put Guillaume for instance I would have Guillaume just written in here so when we use the client we use use params now let's just try to remove the use client and use the params this way here we've got an error that says that we use params only uh, works in client component, okay? So we can't use here the use param to catch uh, from next, next navigation to catch the param. So how can we do that? Uh, you just can here open the props that you got up there, put a params and in here it's type any for now. And here I got my params and down there I'm going to type params.id because here in my pass I got the id between brackets. So I'm gonna come back I'm just going to update and we've got Guillaume and then I got one or I got 12. So this is the main difference when it's not on the client side, you can use directly the params from the function up here inside your post ID in here as a parameter and you can extract either it's going to be ID, either it's going to be a name, a slug of whatever. Of course, in this params list, you would have all the parents and the children depending on how far you go, how deep you go into the folder architecture of your route. You can catch all the parameters that you got down there. Now, let's say that we would like to put a query. Let's say that up here, we would have a, a new, which would be on true, okay? Or new, which would be on number one, whatever. If I type enter, then I got the same root and I got here my query. How would I catch this query up here? How would I catch this new? Well, to do this, what we would like to do in the client side, so here I'm ju just going to get back to the client side and in here, I'm going to put post ID again. There we go. We would like to use a function called use search params. And this function use search params comes from next navigation, of course. So here I'm going to come back here and I'm going to put use search params. There we go. And down there, I'm going to put here search params, which is actually here is equal to use search params. So let's just console log search params to see how it looks like. So if I come back to my app, we see suddenly that use search params is returning to me many functions that I can use, entries for each, get, get all, as keys, to string values and we see that we can use actually those functions to do some operations. So you understand that for each we will have every element and we will loop through every element. Get all, we would get all of them, has keys to string, etc, etc. If you've done some JavaScript before, it looks familiar to you, you basically understand what it does. 
So let's say that I would like to get new. So here we see that we got get. So I'm going to get back in, in here. And I'm going to type const and it's going to be new param. Okay. And let's say that I'm going to type search params dot get. And in here, I'm going to put the name of the param that I want to catch. So here it's basically new. So what I can do, I can go down and I can console log new param. And if I can ba come back, here we see that I got one as a string. And this is a very good example. Here in the queries, everything is going to be a string, of course. So if you want to add a number as a query, you would have to transform it later or same for a Boolean. Okay, so when I get back, what I can do is to put here my new param here. There we go. And if I come back, I got this. And if I put a true, for instance, I got true. But here, of course, true is a string. All right, what if I remove use client again to fetch my query on the server side? When I come back, I got exactly the same error as before. Use such params only works in client component. Add the use client directive to the top of the file to use it. So how do I get my queries? Well, I would remove use such params and I would not use it. I would get back to what I did before, just inside here, inside my props. Remember, we've got params, but we've got also search params. So here I'm just going to put an any for this example. I'm going to console log my search params that I got down there. And of course, we are on the server side right now. So what I need to do is just to update here my page. And if I come back, we see here that I got search params dot new. So let's try to put it in here. I got directly search params dot new in here. And when I get back, we see that it has been rendered. We saw that with Next.js 13, the experience to catch the parameters and the queries is way easier than before. You can use the function provided by Next Navigation, use params and use search params to catch the parameters and the queries on the client side. Otherwise, you're going to use the props and in the props, you have params and search params that are available to catch all the time the data that you want to pass through your URL.